Hey gamers, if you like card games where you're trying to make the best of a hand that you have and get the best combinations of cards, then you might want to check out Fantasy Realms. In this game, you start with a hand of seven cards and cards have various different types and they have different texts on them that'll give you some sort of benefits or penalties depending on what you have in your hand still at the end of the game. You are trying to pick up cards either from the discard pile or from the top of the deck and hope for the best and you're just trying to switch cards in and out of your hand in order to ultimately have the best combination of cards that you can get in a single game in order to score the most points and the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. I thought that this game was just okay. I thought that it is kind of interesting that you start off with a hand of seven cards and you're just trying to swap things in and out the best that you can in order to get things to play off of each other and get you more points and maybe avoid penalties and things like that. I think it's interesting that you can potentially not get a lot of points from cards because of certain penalties or cards getting blanked out and meaning that they're not going to score you anything because they don't have any value, they don't have any uh, type or suit or anything like that. But ultimately, there's not a lot going on in the game. You're picking up a card and then throwing one out. And, you know, depending on if you draw from the top of the deck a lot or if you are taking those cards that other players are discarding to the shared discard pile, then the game could go on for a little bit too long if you're continually swapping out of the discard pile. Or it could be really short if you're always drawing off the top of the deck because the game does end when there's a certain number of cards in the discard pile. So I thought it was just fine. It's a fine filler. It's fine if you like kind of strategizing for your best hand, but there's not a lot of control since if you're drawing from the top of the deck, you're just gonna be left with whatever it, you draw from the top. It's just luck at that point. So it's fine, it's a fine filler, and if you like card games like this, it's pretty quick, so you can definitely check it out, but you can see my full thoughts on the blog today.